Hey YouTubers, this is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with you. Well, I want to say thank you to all of you who came out to my last video, which was Messages from the Spirit World. If you haven't got to see that, that's the message uh, video right before this one. Check that out. I think you'll enjoy it. Anyways, you know, I promised you this weekend we'd have some more mystical, magical videos. And today I've been, I've been meditating on the mystery of mantras. And uh, you guys said, what's a mantra? Well, a mantra is a saying or a phrase or a sound even that carries with it spiritual vibration and spiritual power. One of the mantras that's very known in the, the Western world uh, that actually comes from India is OM. You know, it's spelled A-U-M or just O-M, OM. And OM is the primal sound of the universe. And many times when people meditate, they'll chant, Om. When you chant Om, it raises power. It starts from the chest, and it rises all the way up in the head. And this is believed to open energy centers um, known as chakras. Well, anyways, we could probably spend six hours talking about mantras. But I want to come and bring to you some, some ideas of how mantras can help you magically, you know. Mantras, now let me tell you, in the West, a lot of uh, you know, Westerners, particularly in the United States and in probably Europe, you know, a lot of people think, oh, I found this mantra, I uh, heard it somewhere, I'm going to just start chanting it. And I'm going to say I would be very careful with it because mantras, um, you know, if you ask anybody, particularly people from India, where a lot of them originate, they'll tell you mantras are very powerful. They're not to be played with. You can kind of think of mantras as a spell, really, okay? Because it's believed that when a mantra is chanted with attention and focus, it releases vibrations that bring about change. I don't know about you, but it sounds an awful lot like a spell to me. So I do think mantras are magical. Um, in India, it's taught that when mantras are chanted, that cities can be acquired. And cities are spiritual powers. And some of the cities that can come from mantras are the ability to levitate, the ability to see things at a distance, the ability to know past, present, and future. You see, all of these are psychic abilities. And it's believed that a city uh, is achieved through chanting a mantra. So anyways, with that being said, I thought we'd talk about a mantra that everybody can practice that's a safe mantra. One of the mantras that I'm talking about today is known as the mantra, it's from Tibet. And His Holiness the Dalai Lama teaches this one, and it's called Om Mani Padme Hum. Okay, and depending how you pronounce it, it can be Om Mani Padme Hum, or Om Mani Padme Hum. It has different pronunciations, but I'm going to go with the traditional Sanskrit, which is Om Mani Padme Hum. Okay? Now, this is a fascinating mantra because, well, let me tell you why it's a good mantra. One, anybody, anywhere, in any state of life, good, bad, indifferent, can chant this mantra. There is no negative benefit to chanting this mantra. What this mantra is, it is a mantra of compassion, a mantra of liberation. And it's difficult to literally translate because there's no exact translation. But a rough translation, and even I think the Tibetan Buddhists would agree it's a rough translation, but it's the best we can do for an English equivalent. It would be hail the jewel in the lotus. Om is like om is the sound of vibration of the universe. Um, mani is like um, the jewel. Uh, mani, and then Padme is the lotus, and Hum is like hail or honoring too. So, O Mani Padme Hum, hail the jewel in the lotus. That's not an exact translation, but it's equivalent. And that reflects back to the Buddha. And the belief is that when the Buddha, uh, there, was, there were different Buddhas, that's a whole other video, but there was a Buddha named Amitabha. And Amitabha was the Buddha of the Western Paradise. 
And from his third eye, emanated, or from his right eye, I can't remember which now, but from one of his eyes emanated a beautiful ray of light. And from that ray of light originated the bodhisattva of compassion, which is known in, um, in Tibetan as Chenrezi, or in the um, Sanskrit was Avalokita Shravara. And this bodhisattva, this, this being of compassion that the Buddha emanated, uh, is known as he who hears the cries of the world. So wherever there is sorrow, the bodhisattva of compassion reaches out and brings comfort and helps that person to go to the Buddha and attain Buddhahood, i.e. enlightenment. So this is a wonderful thing. And this bodhisattva, when he first emanated from the Buddha, his first words were, looking at the Buddha, was, Om Mani Padme Hum, Hail the Jewel in the Lotus. So it's actually a praise of the Buddha. It is a praise of the power of enlightenment. It also, as the words of Avalokiteshvara, brings compassion and unites you to the being of compassion. So wherever this mantra is chanted, it's literally you know, said to raise energy of compassion, enlighten the mind, and anybody in the sound vibration who hears it is also affected. So it's a beautiful, beautiful chant. And um, the interesting thing is, Om Mani Padme, in fact, I want to break it down for you. It seems very simple, but there are entire lessons within this, and I can't get into all of them. But here's a brief breakdown. The first it's six syllables, Om, Ma, Ni, Pa, Me, Hom, okay? And Om, um, when that word is chanted, that, that syllable is chanted, it brings the gifts of generosity to the spirit. It purifies the ego and pride, and it brings blessing to the spiritual realm of the gods. With each syllable, a spiritual realm is vibrated and receives a blessing. So when you chant it, not only do you raise your power and help those around you, it also transcends into the spiritual realm. So Om, as I said, brings the gift of, to you of generosity. It purifies your ego and pride. And then it liberates the realm of the gods. And it brings blessing. Even the gods need blessings. Uh, Ma, the second syllable, uh, brings ethics. It brings principles of higher mindedness. Uh, it purifies the soul from jealousy and lust. And it affects the realm of asuras, which are the demons. Uh, those who are in a negative place, it brings the power of releasing all that negativity to that realm. Me um, is the, brings to the person who chants it the, the ability of, to have patience. It purifies passions and desires uh, so that you're not bound up in, in, these, in selfishness. And it liberates the human realm. Okay? Pod uh, brings the gifts of diligence so that you can be steady on your path. It purifies ignorance and prejudice. And this purifies the realm of the animals. May um, brings renunciation, allows you to let go of things that hinder you. Uh, it purifies greed and possessiveness. And this syllable purifies the realm of the pretas, which is Tibetan for the hungry ghosts. And the hungry ghosts, you could think of that as equivalent like earthbound spirits. Okay. And then the final syllable, hum, brings the gifts of wisdom. It purifies aggression and hatred. And this vibration goes into the realms of Naraka, which are the hellish realms. Um, so each of the six realms of reality are purified through chanting, Om Mani Padme Hum. So anyways, I thought you guys would like to try to chant this today. So Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. See, it's very simple. Anyways, now, just
just when you think, wow, that's kind of neat, it gets even better. Do you know that the mantra is so powerful that just seeing it can even be purifying? Today I got up and I dug in my jewelry chest, because I love jewelry. And I have some Tibetan jewelry um, made by Tibetans that are in Nepal. Um, and this is the mantra bracelet. It's made of copper and brass. And it has on it, from left to right here, Om Ma Ni Pad Me Kom. It's got the six syllables, Om Ma Ni Pad Me Kom. And according to the Tibetan teachings, just wearing this bracelet with the mantra on it brings a blessing. And anybody who even sees the mantra, whether they understand it or not, gets a blessing. Now, it's good to understand it, but the syllables and the vibration exist just by the creation. I think that's very powerful. So I'm wearing my Omani Padme Hum bracelet. I also love, because I love this mantra, I have rings too. So here are my rings. You can wear it in the form of jewelry. And so here is another. It's the same syllables. Omani Padme Hum. There you go. And there's a ring there, and I have a second ring, which is a copper ring, which has Om Mani Padme Hum also. So, you know, when I wear my jewelry, in a sense, I am participating in that mantra. I am bringing blessing to myself, purifying myself, raising my vibration, and sending that out to everybody who's able to receive it. I think it's wonderful. Um, you know, so... I just want to come here and bring that to you. Um, you know, in Tibet, from what I've heard, they even on the hillsides carve the mantra in the side of mountains and on rocks so that anybody walking by that glances up, sees the mantra, gets a blessing. They also put this on prayer wheels that spin around. And uh, these mantras go on prayer wheels. I don't know if I can put a prayer wheel in the video here. I'll see if I can insert the graphic. But if not, I'll show you that to you in a future video. I love my prayer. I actually have a prayer wheel that I spin at home. And in Tibet, what they'll do is they'll take the mantra and they'll write it on strips of paper, fold it up and put it in the prayer wheel. Because it's believed that by the motion of the turning, the mantra's vibration is released. So the whole world gets blessed and purified through this mantra. And as I said, this is wonderful because you don't have to you know, receive it from a guru. Uh, if you do receive this mantra from a guru, you're really blessed, um, you know, but you don't have to. Anybody can pick this mantra up and chant it without fear of damage. All that they ask is that you be sincere in your effort. But I've even heard it said that sometimes people who just chant it kind of flippantly, don't even know what they're saying, still get the blessing. So there's a great and generous and liberal, um, you know, power in this mantra. So anyways, if you're interested in mantras and want to learn to chant a mantra, I would recommend this mantra to you. It is Om Mani Padme Hum. So why don't you try chanting it today? Om Mani Padme Hum, 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 Om Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum, blessings to all of you. Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani.